One of our favorite modalities of healing is light. Light is, not, is more than meets the eye in a sense. It's more than just the visible spectrum, which is one octave. It's the most active octave, not only in our sensory function, but biologically, it's extremely active. Uh, as, as Nobel Prize winner Albert St. Georgi would say, every vitamin, mineral, enzyme, and hormone is selectively sensitive to specific frequencies of, of light that change its, the, the, act, the activity of that compound by usually 500%. It's the on-off switch. Light is the regulator of our chemical activity. Uh, you know, if, if you're a chemist, you can think about it and understand that, that the, the activation energy to produce the activation complex of substrate and enzyme, or multiple substrates and enzyme, to produce a chemical reaction in the body, there's a certain amount of energy that's needed. That's a quantum, that's, that's a photon, that's electromagnetic, uh, energy in the form of light. So uh, again, light frequencies that we can see, of course we, we work with extensively, uh, especially through the eye, they can be useful through the body as well. We have instruments that, that work with that, for example, for facial rejuvenation. We use not only electricity frequencies, but light frequencies to tone up the skin, to you know different colors that affect lymph drainage or muscle tone or tighten the skin, etc. But let's talk about infrared. We don't see infrared. Well, usually we don't see infrared. Here in Hawaii, we actually occasionally see infrared. We call it the green flash. If you've ever heard of that, or you come visit when you're on the Kona side at sunset, you watch that setting sun, and the moment right after it drops below the horizon, sometimes you'll see a green flash. And for years, you know, I, like everyone else, had a wonderment in my mind of, I wonder if that's real, I wonder if I'll ever see it, I wonder what it is, what causes it, how does it happen? Now we know. We know that our retina actually, uh, the, green, the green receptors, the green cone cells, can actually see red, uh, in infrared frequencies. Uh, a particular frequency as if it's green when there's two photons at the same time or close enough in time two photons of that infrared come in stimulate the one cell that normally is absorbing mostly green but it's absorbing a little bit of this infrared too by octave resonance and so in that moment we see oh we see green light we're actually seeing a near infrared so near infrared uh, like in this device here, the Quantum Warp 10 that was developed for NASA to treat astronauts. I'll just turn it on and uh, you'll, see, you'll see red light. I'm not going to point it right at you, it would be bright, but uh, you can see the red, red light. That's because there's also red, and we see the red. And the, they use the red here. Right, the red has therapeutic effects on, on the mitochondria, on the DNA, but we're using it here primarily so we can tell it's working, it's on, because <laughs> the, the, the near infrared we can't see, usually. So that actually will penetrate, you can see it coming through my fingers, right? It penetrates actually through up to seven inches of body tissue. Less so when they're bones, bones are more dense, so it's gonna absorb more. But this is strong enough to actually do transcranial, near infrared, photobiomodulation. <laughs> Say that, you can practice it fast. Photobiomodulation, it's photomedicine. This is the medicine of the future. Electricity, light, magnetic fields, natural substances from the, the natural world and simulate the natural world that our bodies are designed for, that our DNA is adapted to epigenetically over the billions of years of, of physical evolution. And uh, that's how healing happens. Other things can simulate parts of healing, like we can suppress, like a disease can give some of the effects of healing, but it's still, it's a disease. So allopathic treatment, the, the conventional approach to Western scientific medicine, is it's allopathic, meaning a new disease. A, a, a drug that's toxic, and most drugs are toxic, most, in, in, in fact, in law, there's, there's no, there's no requirement to regulate something that's not doing harm. So drugs that are that are approved by the FDA are approved partially because they need to be regulated because they do harm. 
the side effects are not uh, not somehow just inconsequential, undesirable effects. They're direct toxic effects. So they're undesirable indeed. So uh, that's just a little bit, but there, there's there's also a new device that I'm going to talk about in a separate video, uh, a couple versions that are being uh, found very helpful for intracranial treatment uh, beyond just the, the work 10, which would work also, but these are specifically designed to, to treat the head head area with near infrared. So we'll get into the V-Light in another talk. Thank you.